Hey there fellow Angular developers, ready to dive into the world of HTTP headers and take your Angular application to the next level? This tutorial will guide you through the process of adding headers to your HTTP request, equipping you with the knowledge and tools to build robust and secure applications. Let me answer the question why headers matter. The first reason is authentication. Headers are essential for transmitting authentication Credentials like API keys or tokens ensuring secure access to protected resources. Second reason is content type. Specifying the content type of your request body such as application slash JSON or multi-part slash form dash data allows the server to interpret and process your data correctly. Third reason is custom metadata. Headers can carry additional information relevant to your specific application needs like user preferences, localization settings, or versioning details. Let's get started. Angular provides a powerful and flexible HTTP client module that allows you to interact with RESTful APIs. The HTTP client methods offer the most granular control over your HTTP requests, including header manipulation. So let me demonstrate that really quick. So this is my Angular project with the basic app.component.html. Here I am going to create a function, get users or maybe fetch users. And here we will add the logic. Here I will use the HTTP client, but before that I need to inject the HTTP client. I'm using Angular 17 and I can simply inject the HTTP client by using the inject function. You can also use the constructor if you want to. Okay, now we have the HTTP client service here. Now we can use it to get the list of users. So here we are calling the get function and passing the URL of our backend endpoint that will give us the list of users. And we are simply displaying those users in the console. So after the URL, you can pass another argument that would be options. So in that object, you can pass different information. For example, if you are in the VS code, you may see the suggestion that will give you a lot of information like which options you can provide in this object. So as we want to specify the authorization, so we can simply do this. I will use the headers property in it and then I will pass the authorization property in the headers object and then I will pass my token into it and then I want to provide the content type application slash JSON. Okay. So with that, it will pass the token and it will get the users. So now let's call this fetch users in the constructor. So let's define the constructor and I will call the fetch users. Now I will open the browser and let's reload the page and you will notice that we have an error. It is saying that null injector null injector error, no provider for HTTP client. The reason is that we are trying to use HTTP client, but we did not provide the service yet. So for that, we as we are using Angular 17, so we will simply go to the app.config and in the providers array, we will pass another function, provide HTTP client function and save it. With that, your HTTP client service would be provided and would be available throughout your entire application. You can then use the HTTP client anywhere in your application. All right, now if you check your browser and see the console, there is no error and we got 10 users from the database, from the backend. Now I also want to see that if my headers are being added in the request or not. For that, click on the network and reload your page. And here is our request. And if you click on that under the header tab, scroll down and find the request headers. Here you will find the headers that we added. You can see we have the authorization bearer token and the content tag that we added here. Okay. So this works great. But if your application is using the HTTP client on different components in different places and your application is very complex. You don't want to add this part of the code everywhere because you don't want to repeat this piece of code. You want to reuse this code. You want to reuse this logic. So you may want more centralized approach. You can leverage the HTTP 
interceptor interface this allows you to intercept every outgoing request and add headers before they are sent so in this way you will never have to worry about adding or attaching headers and token in your requests you just simply send the request and that singleton centralized interceptor will take care of all of your outgoing request and they will attach your desired headers in it automatically out of the box so let's do that so for that open the terminal and run the command ng generate interceptor and the name of the interceptor would be http you can give it whatever name you want and the interceptor has been generated now in that interceptor first of all i would like to get my token from the local storage so on the top i will get let token is equal to local storage dot get item and pass the name of the local storage item that you want to get now i will check that if token is found then i will use request is equal to request dot clone so basically i am creating a clone of my existing request so that i could pass additional information into it so in the clone function i am passing an object and that object uh, has a property set headers and that property expect an object so i am passing an object here i will provide the additional headers that i want to specify so here i will add the authorization bearer token and content type application slash json save it now we need to link this or uh, register this interceptor so as we are using angular 17 so to register this interceptor go to the app.config and in the provide http client function we need we will pass another function with interceptors function so there are two interceptor uh, with interceptors functions one is with interceptors and second one is with interceptors from di that is dependency injection so you if you are still using class based interceptors then you would use the with interceptors from di if you are using functional interceptors like we are doing here then you would use the with interceptors function and call that function and pass an empty array to it now i will give it my interceptor that, that i want to use so you use the http interceptor make sure to import it as well and make sure to import the with interceptor function as well from the angular common http save it now go back to the app.component.ts and let's get rid of this second argument of the get method we don't need to specify any headers save it okay now click on this network network request and let's find out our custom headers i can see that there are no headers that we added the reason is that at this time we are getting the token from the local storage and we are adding the new headers only if token was found but obviously at this time there is no token in the local storage that's why it is not running so here i can simply uh, ju just to test it i will add a default token here xyz in this way in this way token will have some value and this condition will be true and this logic would be executed and our headers would be added now let's check it click on the network request and go to the request headers section and here you can see the headers that we added authorization bearer xyz and content type application slash json so i think that's it before ending this video i would just give you some best practices security should be first never hard code sensitive sensitive information like api keys or tokens directly in your code store them securely in environment variables or dedicated configuration files keep it clean use separate interceptor classes or functions for different types of headers or logic promoting modularity and maintainability don't forget errors implement robust error handling to gracefully manage potential issues with your requests now you are equipped with the knowledge and skills to add headers to your angular http requests effectively go forth and build amazing secure and powerful web applications i hope that i could provide some value to you if you think that this video was helpful then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos also please like and share this video if you have any questions or suggestions or feedback that you would like to share then please leave them in the comments section below and i would be happy to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye